They say dogs are our best friends, but one workplace canine is best buddies with a whole retirement village, yes, eh, Oscar? he has taken out the prestigious prize of Top Office Pooch 2022. Nina Burton went to meet this really good boy. Excitable, affectionate, adorable. Meet Odin, a three-year-old Labrador, appropriately named after the Norse god, and the country's top office dog for 2022. To have a, an animal like Odin uh, is absolutely marvellous. He makes friends with everyone. Odin earns his keep at Aria Garden's retirement home north of Auckland. I think animals within in a home like this or a hospital is important and it gives people something else to think about. When residents aren't having a good day, Odin turns their frowns upside down. You can come up to Odin and give him a big pat and the world gets better. Dogs or animals don't judge, you know, everyone has stressful lives at home or you know our residents for example have um, stressful things that are going on here and dogs don't see anyone for their disability or um, you know anything that's going wrong in, in your life. What's it like for you bringing your best bud to work every day? That oh, must be pretty cool. He's an extension of me. I, honestly, I would feel so so lost without him. Odin is Chantel's first pet dog. Goodbye. She can't imagine life without him. It truly has almost brought me to tears a couple of times, the way that he looks at the... Oh. Oh, OK. Um, the way that he looks at the residents, you know, he just... He has... You can see it in his eyes. He just has a genuine empathy for them. Yeah, you just, you just make everyone's lives better, hey? Frog Recruitment's been running the best office dog competition for seven years. This year they had 350 entries. We like to call it the, the feel good campaign of the year, but um, really it is about mental health and well-being in the workplace. So we came across some research that showed the benefits of having a dog in the office. There's reduced absenteeism, who doesn't want to come in when there's a, a, a cute and calming dog in the office. It actually increases productivity as well. You are just gorgeous. Oh, you've even got your bow tie on for us. Odin's not just a pretty face. He's learning Māori and makes sure mask wearing standards are well maintained. But simply showing up is all that's required of Odin. His presence alone does the trick. As we walk in the front gates, I always see Odin's fans, the residents, you know, watching outside the window. They're always waving at him as we come in. Um, and it's the same when we're going home, you know, he's, um, they're waving goodbye and, or they're saying, hey, come visit me tomorrow. It's surprising what people miss within a community like this if they don't have an animal. I see him take off at a certain hour of the morning and uh, he, he helps the plants grow in the garden. Ah. <laughs> so for anyone thinking about taking their pooch to work, why not? To make anyone's day that little bit better, especially when things are, are not great or you know they're not going to have a good outcome or anything, yeah, he just makes their day. And it's so, so, so important in this, in this sort of industry. Because a face like this would brighten any day. Oh, here we go. And we've got Oscar here, our lovely resident office dog, who's very well behaved today. Except when there are other dogs on TV. Yes. Not happy about another dog being on TV, only room for one. Um, we're really hoping that Oscar will make the finals next year of Office Dog of the Year. Uh, a strong contender, likes sitting around. They have had a slight st stomach upset uh, early <laughs> on in this evening. Well, he's but not a young pup. We're not talking He's 13, about. so he's not a young pup. He's done now, very well.